Welcome to A Kind and Gentle Word. I'm Jordan, and today is day 41 in our walk through the book of Psalms. And Psalm 41 is actually considered to be the end of book one in the book of Psalms itself. So a book within a book. So let's dive into the scripture, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Blessed is the one who considers the poor. In the day of trouble, the Lord delivers him. The Lord protects him and keeps him alive, and he is called blessed in the land. You do not give him up on the will of his enemies. The Lord sustains him on his sickbed. In his illness, you restore him to full health. As for me, I said, O Lord, be gracious to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, When will he die, and in his name perish? And when one comes to see me, he utters empty words, while his heart gathers iniquity. When he goes out, he tells it abroad. All who hate me whisper together about me. They imagine the worst for me. They say, a deadly thing is poured out on him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Even my close friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be gracious to me, and raise me up, that I may repay them. But this I know, that you delight in me. My enemy will not shout in triumph over me. But you have upheld me because of my integrity, and set me in your presence forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and amen. Psalm 41 presents a really interesting perspective, and it's something I think we all struggle with, that just because we love the Lord and constantly look to him does not mean that our everyday life is always peaceful, always filled with joy, and always smooth. (laughs) Or always filled with people who want the best for us. In this moment, we see that David is the weak one who needs God's blessing and healing and protection from people he considered to be trusted by him. As the king of Israel, I'm sure that he had a lot of enemies, and it would be very easy for someone who is not of the Lord to at one moment be friends with David and then turn away and be like, hey, I can probably get higher than I am right now if I turn against him. Hmm. It's so easy to do that as a human. (laughs) Our whole lives are about trying to get ahead of others and be one step ahead. But the incredible thing about this psalm is that we see David continually turning to the Lord. And he ends this book of psalms looking to the Lord with his eyes upon him not on himself or on those around him, but continually looking to God for everything that he needs. And that includes friendship. So if you're feeling a little bit lonely today, just know that God will never leave your side. And he is always right there, just waiting to join in on whatever it is you're doing, thinking, or feeling. So let's remember to be kind to others and gentle with yourself, for we are all a work in progress.